Rebecca, can you talk to me about the work, the new work that you're doing in care homes? Yeah, this is, um, well, we've worked with the carry the label frail older people before, but recently we're doing more and more of this. Um, we're working in a local nursing home and they look after 100 elders. Um, and we've got two artists there every week, plus um, what we call two peer mentors. And our peer mentors are two older performers from our Seven Ages Theatre Company. They're in their 70s and they're strong local performers who write their own poetry. And they go in with our artists and they facilitate a session in a nursing home. Um, the nursing home has a dementia ward and two fantastic activities coordinators and their own volunteers, one of whom is the daughter um, of a mother who was looked after there. So she returns back to care for people. Uh, we're looking at creating a 21st century tea dance there in situ site specifically, working with Jane Glitter, who's the music producer who did the spits, uh, looking at top musicians coming in so that this becomes a place that's that reveals how interesting it is. When I first went there, I was slightly put off by all these corridors with lots of bedrooms and the fact that it was built next to industrial state and it seemed a place that I couldn't hook myself into. Um, and then I met the people there who lived there, some of whom spoke to me without words, just held my hand, um, some who told me their stories. I went in and out of 70 bedrooms and I came out buzzing and this is the effect it has on us and artists and I think because there's so much gravitas there um, in the people who live there, whatever their frailty, there's a tremendous gravitas of story and of who they are and of transmuting and also caring for us. I went to a session there that my two artists led recently and I felt looked after, unspokenly. I was quite shy and I hadn't been there in the session before and all the older frail people were looking after me so the things were reversed and they looked after me very well and in a way that was so unjudgmental um, and I slowed down and my well-being was better for it so I think one thing to say is they have a contribution um, quite a big one to make um, because they're absent from society we can't benefit from their presence and the fact that it allows us to think and reimagine who we are, whatever age we are, in other ways and um, to be in other ways as well. And again, it has this quality of mindfulness. Um, very, very innovative work. Sometimes hard because care workers are doing a tough job, but they so appreciate the work too. Um, whether they're a cleaner there or somebody working the laundrette and our artists have said that they come in to the sessions and somehow rediscover their humanity as well because they're in the ghetto just as much as the residents are but the residents and the volunteers and the activities coordinators based there understand how if they could attract the public in and have the top artists there that that could become an interesting hub, a creative hub that it doesn't have to be about being hidden away and depressing all the time. So um, that's one of the most innovative projects we're doing at the moment.